What's up everyone, Scott the Trihammer here and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we've got a much better fishing day today than we had yesterday. And yesterday, Christian and I went out on his land to go cutthroat fishing. In a nutshell, this guy absolutely whooped my butt. I had a terrible time fishing. And a lot of that is just like, it seems like it only starts storming when I have time to go fishing. And I made time to go fishing today because, hey look, it's finally sunny. We're out fishing with Christian today and we're out fishing with the Smalley family. So we started out at a spot on the Cal Puglia, fished there for a little while until the, the panfish bite just died. So that's gonna be the first half of the video you're gonna see here. And now we're down at Waverly for the early evening bite. So before we get too far into the video, I am doing another giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway for my top five favorite trout fishing lures. If you guys wanna see what those lures are, I'll put the link for the video in the top of the description, but that's gonna be the giveaway for the next couple of weeks. And in order to qualify for the giveaway, you guys need to like this video, subscribe to the channel. And in this video, I'll ask a question. I wanna see that as a comment. Your answer is a comment down below. All three of those things will qualify you for those goodies to be given to you. And also when you subscribe to the channel, I'll give you a shout out in the video I record over the weekend. It's something I've been doing for a long time and I've only been giving shout outs to people who subscribe to the channel. That account setting is on public and I can read your names. Now, here's the interesting thing. I recently found out a way, and I mean recently as in like a couple days ago, found a way to see who subscribes to my channel that has their account settings on private. Now, it's only been a couple days, so because there's so many names, I get like 40 subscribers a week. What I'm gonna start doing from now on is I'm just gonna make a credit scroll just sort of like right here on this side of the screen. So if you see your name here, the video I recorded over the weekend, that's gonna be your shout out. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your support. Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! All right, guys, check that out. I'm gonna start with a Ned rig. Perfect. <laughs> See, it land, like, right in front of the wall. Oh my god, there are so many bees over here. Look oh. at that. Yeah, that's a nest. Oh, something just swiped at me. Oh. There we go, something just bit. Okay, something smaller just followed me in. Okay, now I know what to use. Got bit. Right, he's, he's right there, same spot. That's a smallmouth, they saw the color. Uh -huh. yeah, but we're freaking carpet bombing right now. That might actually be the problem. You can't overload a fish's senses. I think it's a combination of two things. One is that we had the big rain yesterday, and two, with a lot of people fishing a small area, you can overload a fish's senses to where they just shut down. Watch, Christian's probably gonna start catching fish left and right when he goes up above the dam. That's something. Came off. Came back for it. It is a pike minnow. Yeah, I'd normally kill these things, but we got children present. Yep. You head further down. Yeah. Made the right call. Bass on the first cast. A little tiny largemouth. Yeah, a little tiny California bass. I just saw one of the biggest bluegill I've ever seen. This thing was seriously the size of a salad plate. And these birds are going crazy on the surface. Yeah. Should have brought my fly rod. Not that time. <laughs> Came back for it. Yeah, you were fighting like a pike minnow. That's why he came back for it. These greedy little you know what's. Now, I've been in the same one that I caught already. It's actually a pretty rocky bottom. Oh, is it? Yeah, I'm dragging a finesse jig. No, it's actually more rock than anything. Yeah, cast to the right of you. Yeah, surprisingly. It's like four feet deep over here. Record depth, right? Well, I've got crappie nipples, but I imagine this spot's so unpressured we shouldn't need them. Nope. Yeah, nice little bass. Yeah. yeah I think my Bigger than the first one I caught. I think my crappie nipple's just a little too small. You know, for the cow polia, it's a decent largemouth. Yeah. Holy cow. Well, I think I'm sold on these things. See what I got in front of that? Oh, the... Quick clip for fly fishing. Huh. Makes it so I don't have to retie every lure. Every fish I've caught today, I've caught with that thing on it, so... Okay. Use that on all of these types of lures so I don't have to constantly cut line and retie. 
And I've been using it for a couple weeks now with my spinners and spoons, and it works great. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've been using it with panfish gear. Oh, wow, yeah. That guy just flew out of nowhere right when I was about to pull this out of the water. Yep. So I'll let this sink for about five or six seconds before I start retrieving. Yeah, I've been letting them sink too. It's just nothing. Oh, I caught something. Bike minute. Well, this time there's no kids around. Yeah, about as big as the first one I caught. I absolutely have to start by doing this. Mint. I need it. Well, here at Waverly, I am absolutely using the crappie nibbles. More pressured place, give me a little more incentive. Are you seriously putting it on a twin Yeah. That's how I've always fished it. Because it works. A little blue gill, actually. Yeah. Caught tons of blue y'all on these things. Barrett catches the fish. That's a nice pumpkin seed sunfish. Uh, I'll hold it so it can't poke you. You can actually lip those guys. You want to hold it? Yes or no? He's being gentle. All you have to do is put your hand out like this. I gotta put him back in a few seconds. He's okay. He's okay. Get off me! Nope. Pretty cool. <laughs> smile. Look at me. Aww. Nice. Now carry him back to the water. Yep. Gentle. Bye bye, fish. Don't step in the mud, step on the rocks, okay? Good job. Any spinners away. Oh, uh, mm, I'm eating my hook. Oh. Hello. Are you taking a video? Mm hmm. Always. Crappie! Crappie! Well, cr cr crappie patty. Well, the crappie bites on. I'm gonna stick to them for a little bit. And now we've been here at Waverly for a couple hours. Everyone else has gone home. See, I'm the only one who came with me and is still here fishing. I fished for a little while longer, saw a couple of good sized bass that cruised through this part of the bank, but couldn't get him to turn on anything. Surprisingly little fish activity in this pond for this time of year. But yeah, you know, this has been one of the more relaxing days of fishing I've had in a long time. Just nice, quiet, calm areas, you know, not a whole lot of people. In beautiful weather that's actually a change but let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below i couldn't think in this video of a question to ask specifically for the comment down below so just let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below and that's the thing that'll qualify you for the giveaway so if you guys want to qualify for the giveaway you guys need to like this video subscribe to the channel and just let me know what you thought down in the comments below again trying to uptick the video frequency i worked 50 hours this week you know i worked so many hours during the week that every hour i worked on friday was overtime and ended up being another 10 hour day so super busy but still want to make some content for you guys still want to give you guys more chances to qualify for the giveaway so stay tuned for more videos there but other than that thank you guys so much for watching as always tips up tight lines and have fun fishing